Once you get your portfolio documented with photos and videos and you collect and organize all of your digital artwork, it's time to produce the final portfolio. Your portfolio should include a title page with your name on it, ideally a table of contents, a letter of intent, a current resume with visual design skills and training, and an image list that matches all of the images in the order that you wanted to show them. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best practices and some of the techniques for labeling and organizing your photos so that you can create a seamless portfolio presentation using Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Acrobat. To start, you'll want to check the portfolio requirements for what you're applying for and pay special attention to the number and types of images that are required in the labeling conventions recommended. In some cases, you can be disqualified from competing for not labeling your images correctly. So I've organized the 20 images that I'm going to include in this portfolio. I've labeled each one with a sequence number, my name, and a title to match the image list that's provided at the front of the portfolio. If you haven't actually built your image list yet, you can do this as you organize and label all of the files for your portfolio. Let's review all of the images and documents that I've gathered in this folder. All of the word processing documents that were used to create the image list and the table of contents have been converted into PDF documents. Next, the images are organized into a file sequence with proper labeling conventions. Now I can take all of these files and combine them together into a PDF presentation using Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Photoshop. You want to go to the file menu and choose combine files into PDF, then you want to locate the folder and the files that you want to consolidate and click the add files button. This feature should automatically combine all of the PDFs and JPEGs into one seamless PDF. Once you've created your portfolio, you want to open it and make sure that everything works and the images are sequenced as you planned and they didn't get screwed up somehow. I'm currently on attempt number six to get this process right. So you shouldn't trust your first PDF and you definitely want to open it and check it before you send it. After you've created your PDF and you're sure that it's the way you want it to look, check the file size and make sure that it's not too large to send through email. Anything over 10 megabytes is too big for most email messages and should be reduced in size using the PDF optimization procedure. As you can see, the PDF that I've created is over 100 megabytes in size and is too large to send through email. It will fit on a USB stick, but it will most likely just clog up someone's computer. To downsample the resolution, you want to optimize the PDF and save it under the file menu and choose Optimize PDF. From the list of resolution options, you want to set everything to 72 pixels per inch and uh, all the way down through the image options. After you're done, this file should be much smaller in size. My PDF ended up being roughly about 5 megabytes in size. And if you're worried about the images looking poorly, you can always send them a message to say that you have a full-size PDF available if, you, uh, if they would like you to deliver it.